Oakland Councilwoman Desley Brooks made headlines after she was accused of shoving a former Black Panther leader, a case that forced the city to pay up. Now her ex aide is taking legal action. KPX 5's Juliet Goodrich asked Brooks today about claims that she is a toxic boss. Jules? Well, Veronica, the councilwoman held a news conference here today to talk about jobs, but she didn't want to talk specifically about these new claims about her behavior on the job. Oakland City Council member Desley Brooks talking about funding for job training centers and programs. We have to make sure that we hold people accountable to all of the community, not just some. This comes on a day when a former aide to the councilwoman is holding her accountable, filing a claim against her and the city, alleging she verbally and physically abused him. Former aide, 33 year old Sidney Wilson, said Brooks routinely yelled at him and cursed at him and was a controlled and abused servant, a go fetch boy, was forced by Councilmember Brooks to create and manage a farmer's market illegally, forced to work six days a week, dealing with vicious verbal abuse and toxic work conditions to no relief. In the claim, Wilson said Brooks told him, I'm so sick of this expletive. If you tell anyone what goes on in this office, you will regret it. Anyone. Wilson resigned October 2017. Excuse me. Quick comment, because we haven't, no, can we talk to her real quickly? Today, we caught up with Brooks as she was leaving out a back door after her news conference. Obviously, we can't overlook the fact that there's been another claim filed about someone that was a former aide. Can you comment on that? No. Can you comment about this 24 page claim about toxic work environment? No. How about this coming on the heels of another claim from a couple months ago where the city had to pay millions of dollars? Do you have any comment? This latest claim follows a civil verdict in December in which the jury decided the city must pay $3.75 million to former Black Panther leader Elaine Brown, who said Brooks shoved her inside a restaurant in 2015. Brooks was ordered to pay $550,000 in punitive damages. We just so happened to spot the former Black Panther leader in downtown Oakland today and asked her about this latest claim. I'm not going to be speaking about uh, my case or anything related to it. Not related to your case, but were you aware that another former I read former the newspapers. I read the newspapers. And what did you think? I mean, I don't have an opinion right now. Now, Brooks wrote in an email, quote, it's unfortunate that someone I tried to help and mentor is now trying to manipulate the city in this way. The claim seeks $1 million from the city of Oakland, $3 million from Brooks. In Oakland, Julia Goodrich, KPIX 5.